Welcome back to another Second Step Lesson video. Before we get into today's lesson, I would like us to do a quick review of the vocabulary words that I've been using in these videos. So the first one, and I'm going to use my poster over here to help us remember, the first thing we started talking about was focusing attention and listening. Listening to people means you look at the person talking, hear what they're saying, and think about what it is they're saying. Use your brain to kind of process what are they saying? What information are they sharing? So we've learned about focusing and listening. We've also learned about using self-talk. We learned that self-talk is quietly repeating something or saying something to your brain. It might be in a little whisper or you might be thinking it in your head. You can use self-talk to help you remember directions like, okay, first I write my name, then I write my sentence. First I write my name, then I write my sentence. You can use self-talk to help you remember and you can also use self-talk to help you focus. You can say, focus, focus, or you can say, I'm gonna think about my work. But self-talk is kind of like coaching yourself into doing what you need to do. We've also learned about being assertive. Assertive means being serious and calm and standing with confidence. When we want people to listen to us, it's important to use your assertive voice. That's the voice that people will listen to the most. If we yell and we're aggressive, people will stop listening. If we're passive and quiet, people won't hear us and they might not believe what we're saying. Finally, we've been using the word empathy a lot as well. Empathy means thinking about how someone else feels. It's putting yourself in their shoes, thinking, I wonder what they're thinking and feeling right now. What's it like to be them? How would I feel if that happened to me? All right, thank you for doing that quick review. We use a lot of vocabulary in these lessons, so I just wanted to go over that again today. All right, let's get into our lesson. Last time, you learned what to say when something happens by accident. Do you remember what we're supposed to say? Yes, we say, I'm sorry, it was an accident. And then we ask the person, are you okay? Or can I help? Apologizing or saying, I'm sorry, is a way of showing that you care. Today, we are learning more about how to show others that we care. Our story today is about Dara and Ben. Dara is wearing the polka dot dress and Ben has the blue shirt on. It was show and tell time. Ben was excited to tell the class about his special shell, but he started to hiccup when he tried to talk. Some kids started laughing Ben felt embarrassed. He went and sat down without telling the class all the things he had wanted to say about his shell. Ben's friend Dara noticed that Ben looked sad. She came over to see him. How do you think Ben is feeling? maybe sad or embarrassed. How do you think Dara feels? She feels sad for Ben and concerned. 
We can tell because in this picture, she is looking at Ben. She put her hand on his shoulder. What do you think Dara could say to Ben to show that she cares? Maybe she could have him tell her about his shell. Maybe she could tell him, it's okay. Dara decides to listen to Ben tell her more about his special shell. Listening is one way Dara can show that she cares for Ben. Saying kind words or offering to help are other ways to show that you care. When people show that they care, it makes us feel really happy and like we belong. Showing care to others is called compassion. Compassion is using empathy, noticing how someone feels and trying to do something to help them feel more comfortable. Let's think about a kind thing you could say to someone to show that you care. Saying thank you is a good way. Giving compliments or saying you did a good job. Those are ways to show that you care. Today, you learned to show that caring and concern is part of empathy. To show caring and concern, we can listen to others, say kind words, and offer to help. Our words and actions can make a difference when friends are upset. It makes our school more fun when we care about how each other feel. It's the same at your homes. When we show that we care about the people we live with, it makes our home feel more comfortable for everyone. We are going to end by listening to our song about feelings. This song ties in with our lesson because it's important to think about how you feel and how other people feel. That helps us know how to treat them. Happy is a smile and a twinkle in the eye. Happy is a friend or a homemade apple pie. Everyone has feelings. We show them on our faces. Show them on our faces. We feel them in our body. Feel them in our body. How you feel the way you feel Sad is a tear and a head hanging down Sad is when you lose your special toy in town Everyone has feelings We show them on our faces Show them on our faces Feel them in our body Feel them in our body We tell them with our voices How you feel the way you Heart beating fast, anger's being pushed, falling down and coming last. Everyone has feelings. We show them on our faces. Show them on our faces. We feel them in our body. Feel them in our body. We tell them with our voices. How you feel the way you feel. Scared is a gasp. Your legs start to shake. Scared is hearing thunder that gives your house a shake. Everyone has feelings We show them on our 